Hello lovely Cancer, this is Leah and I will be doing your 20, July 2021 reading for the month. Uh, I usually have my cards piece shuffled out for you guys but I'm going to go with the flow and see um, how this, how spirit um, will convey their mes messages this way. I'm also shortening the length of the video, but don't worry, um, I still have your messages. This is just to help me serve you better, you know, by conserving my energy, you know? So, uh, also, please use your intuition as you are viewing this video with me. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, like, dunk it in the trash or... <laughs> To the side somewhere. Don't don't keep something that's not yours. So if there's a message that doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. <clears throat> I heard the word guarded. So you guys can be guarded. Also, I saw a heart breaking. You know, like a a picture of a heart and it broke in half. Okay. I heard when life gives you demons, make them in hate. So at some point in the past, you guys felt like you guys were juggling. Uh, really trying to keep everything together in your household or everything together at your job and that's coming to an end for some of you guys uh, you guys were juggling because um, maybe some of you guys bit off more than what you can chew or you guys were really indecisive so you guys were entertaining multiple options because you wasn't really sure which one to chuck out it's the dirt and which one to keep in terms of options. But um, you guys are really solidifying the options that suit you better and really getting rid of the options that doesn't really suit you. And that is bringing more peace and tranquility. Also, you guys have something to celebrate about. For some reason, I'm sensing a bitterness here, like a bitter energy. Uh, maybe someone is quite bitter of you. Because of your happiness. Okay. Yeah, you guys are really educating. Um, you guys could be educators, teachers, instructors. Or you guys could be um, getting ready to go to school. Or doing legal paperwork. Someone's upset that they're not being chosen or that they're not be, being the option here. You guys probably had like competition in the past and you was the one who, who was chosen, who was picked and someone is bitter about that. Okay. I heard ignore them. Like they, they were way bitter before whatever occurred, okay? There, there was, they was better before they came into the picture. There was better before they became an option. There was, I heard they have always been better, okay? Also, there's someone that wants to come in with an apology in the month of July. Yeah, y'all guys are really uh, focusing on Kassar dating. I think a lot of you guys had a lot going on in the recent past months. And you guys are really putting things into rest that doesn't really work out for you anymore. Um, a lot of you guys are realizing that you're entertaining a lot of options that just wasn't really beneficial to you guys. And it's like some of you guys are Kassar dating to that one. I heard some of you guys are working on enterprises as well. I was trying to work on an enterprise. I'm talking to my business owners here. 
Yeah, uh, some of you guys could have been dating around a bit, playing the field a bit, and you guys are choosing that one person that suits you, or you could have been talking to somebody that was playing the field and they're deciding to entertain you exclusive, exclusively, and the other options could be better here, okay? The other options that was not chosen could be better. Someone did not like you coming together with somebody or you getting that job. There's, there's a lot of haters, man. Either one hater or a lot of haters. <laughs> Some of you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, when I said haters, like maybe a face popped in your head or something like that. And you like absolutely aware of this hater or this bitter person here. Someone wants what you have here, okay? And you feel like there's some, there's people who are actually snakes in the in the grass that want that wants what you have, and you doing everything you can to protect yourself and your peace of mind. You're not gonna let these bitter pe these bitter people um, mess with your inner sense of peace, okay? Yeah, someone did not get chosen here. Um, I heard the chosen one, okay? <laughs> Someone, like, you, you was the way better option out of the rest. Or you saw that one person who was way, but, like, the, the best option, um, uh, compared to the rest. And someone's better. I keep repeating this message, but that's what I'm really seeing here. Ooh. Yeah. One of these options could have been your friend. Okay? So, some of you guys could have been talking to someone that used to talk to your friend, and now your friend is bitter and mad about that. Or someone is talking to you. It's, it's something about someone's dating. Someone used to date a friend, right? Didn't work out with that friend, and now they're going towards someone that that ex knows. So let's let's say that you were dating someone and didn't work out with them, but the person that you didn't work out with them has a friend, and that friend is more suitable for you. And the person that, that you used to date is either bitter at the friend or bitter at you or bitter at both, okay? Somebody's bitter. Yeah. Someone's, someone's mad that they don't really text like you used to anymore. You don't call like you used to anymore. You might actually have someone say that you don't call like you used to. You don't text like you used to. You don't check on a N-word anymore. That's how I heard it in my head, but I'm trying not to uh, refrain from using such words in this video. Um, yeah. Someone's feeling left out in the cold. Like, someone felt like you're not tending to the connection and, and relationship like you used to. And they're really being upset about the person that you're walking towards or the job that you're walking towards or the victory that you have in your life okay and you guys look well beautiful in the month of july um you guys have your head up in the month of uh, july and you're really not trying to let anyone push you off your high push you off your high horse um some people might like try to call you out saying oh you think you're just sitting on some high horse <laughs> you're just sitting on some high horse. You think you're on a pedestal, huh? And you're like, yeah, actually, you're correct. I am on the high horse and I am on that pedestal. You're not letting anyone bring you down, okay? You, you're moving towards what you really want with the victory and not caring what anyone else has to say about it. Not even, not even your bitter exes, okay? Not even the bitter people that you used to hang out with. This is also could be an old friend, okay? 
a friend could be upset at you because you don't talk to them like like you used to. And now you have other friends that suit you better. People evolve, people change, and friends fade away. So this old friend that you probably faded away from is better about your new other friends that you're hanging out with because they're better suited for you and they're gonna help you with your elevation. This old friend of yours could be somebody that's totally complacent well, you, on the other hand, is trying to elevate and make moves, make major big moves here, okay? I'm tapping into some business owners, people who wants to have enterprises, people who wants to change the community, and here's this complacent friend, okay? It's like maybe this friend wants you to take them where you're going, and they have to do work on their own, okay? Um, yeah, exactly. So this could have been like a partner or a friend, a friend of yours or even a relative here. Spirit says that you're well deserving of what you have and what you got going for. Don't let this person make you feel guilty of what you have or what you got going for just because you don't hang out with them anymore. And actually, you could actually care about this person and this could be actually a friend that you still want to nourish. You're just a little bit more busier than usual. That doesn't mean you don't care about them, okay? This could be your friend, an ex, a relative, okay? Or someone that you should talk to. Yeah, you're really, you're really tending to your business and tending to yourself, tending to your passions in the month of July. Yeah, you're, you're all about your bag right now, Cancer. And Cancer, y'all like really lovey-dovey, so I'm chuckling that you guys are so focused on career right now. Um, or really focus on the one that truly matters to you and not really trying to entertain other people, okay? Yeah, we have people on the sidelines like why why did why are they not talking to me? You know, they used to they used to talk to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh wow. Someone's yeah. There's someone that can actually truly be heartbroken about this, or there's someone who can actually be hella bitter, or the person that's actually bitter deep down, they're really heartbroken, okay? They just don't want to show their soft side. They think, they think they're so hard and stuff, and the, the best way of them showing their emotions to them is bitterness versus really being honest and saying that I miss you and I, I'm really sad and disappointed, you know? Like I said, like bitterness is almost all what they know, okay? You probably know this, this person for a, a good long while, and they've always been bitter. So this is just something new to be bitter about for them, okay? Um, I'm not trying to be mean here. I'm just saying what I see in the cards. Um, yeah, it's like they want, you, they want you to take them where you're going, Okay? You're definitely in your power. They definitely miss you. They miss the attention that you used to give them. Oh. Yeah, they feel left out. Uh, wow. And also, this is someone in the past that probably did not believe you or your ideals. They used to talk mad S-H-I-T about your ideals and your goals. And you kept believing in yourself, you kept pushing, and now you're celebrating, having victories, and maybe even throwing parties for your celebration of the things that you have achieved, and they're not invited to the party, so they feel kind of left out, okay? Yeah, feeling left out in the freaking cold. Um... Yeah, and they're bitter about it. Versus them saying, hey, I miss you, and I feel left out in the cold, and I just want to be there as you achieve. They just they just want to show bitterness instead. Okay? <laughs> Some of you guys, you don't care. You don't care about this person. They can... They can beg, they can cry, but you're not letting this person back in into your life because this person was actually mean and bitter towards you. So you're going to let them be bitter all by themselves. Yeah. You're going to let them be bitter all by themselves. <laughs> you 
You also had a little birdie told you that, hey, there's someone who's mad and and that you don't talk to them anymore. Yeah. You could have had a, had a mutual friend between you and this bitter person here. Um, you could have intuitively picked up that they're bitter or mad or upset, or, or upset about your achievements. Okay. So this is just a confirmation that yeah, they're bitter. Yes, they're still bitter. If you're asking if they're still bitter, yes. And they try to they okay. For the ones that is trying to put their bitterness aside and try to give you like an olive branch or turn a new leaf with you, um, their offer is so petty compared to what you have now. That Their offer could have been something that you always wanted from them, but you don't even want that from them anymore, okay? Yeah. Period. <laughs> Pretty bitter. I'm sensing bitterness. I saw a lemon. I saw a lemon <laughs> um, when I said bitterness. Okay. I'm also seeing someone's mouth like hung wide open for all the ach achievements because I think they're so shocked because they really truly, truly did not believe that you will make it this far. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and here you are with all these achievements, a beautiful love life, everything, and they're just shocked. And I think that's why they want to come in and, and finally give you this petty ass offer that you used to want that they probably like hung over your head, but you moved on and, and you don't even want them anymore or want what they have anymore. Because you got something greater. Or you're moving towards something greater. Yeah, there's something better for you. There's and you know it. And that's why that's why you're remaining for remaining focused and just pushing forward in the month of July 2021. Yeah, your happiness is so important. <laughs> it's so important to you right now. I heard for for the first time in a long time, I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable now. I know you guys probably pushed in so much work, and now you can finally eat the fruits of your labor. You're too busy eating the fruits of your labor to even pay attention to this dude, period. <laughs> or this person, this gal, whomever, okay? And oh my gosh, some of them might even say, like, you used to be kind to me, you used to be nice to me. And you're like, what do you, you expect me to be nice and kind to you as you talk to me like I'm dirt? Are you serious? <laughs> like, you really want me to turn the other cheek here? Yeah, no, nah, not today. <laughs> you used to take their shit. Mm -mm, not this time. No. <laughs> You're not taking shit because you know you deserve so much, Cancer. The Empress, she knows. She knows deep down that she's worthy of everything she could possibly ever want. She knows she's worthy of the things that she wants, the things that she craves, the things that she desires. She knows she's worthy of it. Yeah, you used to be so confused about this person. And you tried to make them halfway, trying to make them happy. You know, just for them to manipulate you and gaslight you. You was the one who was actually being kind to them, honest with them. There, there was the one who was lying and being manipulative and being childish with you. That's all you can remember at this point when they try to come back into you and say how much they miss you. Whether that's a friend, family member, or or uh, ex, okay? Or someone I used to talk with that didn't even give you a freaking chance. 
okay, and slept on your beauty, slept on your intelligence, slept on the things that you were going to achieve. They slept on you. <laughs> that song by Mike Jones um, back then it did want me, <laughs> right? I can't really say it because it's like I'm trying to keep this PG, y'all. But the song, the song from Mike Jones, basically saying that you know back then. You know, people didn't pay me no mind, pay me no attention. A lot of people slept on me. Now I made it now. All these people on me, and they trying to get my attention. Yeah, psych. Psych. <laughs> psych. I don't want you anymore. You slept on me, remember? You slept on me. You slept on me. Yeah, you definitely in your power, Cancer. Definitely in your power. You feel beautiful. You look in the mirror, you like what you see. If you're not at this point, it is so important to get at this point where you start to like what you see. Yeah, some might even call you conceited. Okay, whatever. Um... Yeah, you got someone that's bitter. When when you step in the room, there are females out here that or men too, that when you step in the room, you make them feel uncomfortable sometimes. It's because like it makes them really question their own sense of confidence, okay? And you have nothing to do you have nothing to do with that. You're not responsible to their own sense of confidence. So please do not dim your light down, okay? Do not dim your light. Remain confident. Remain a badass, okay? I'm also going to pull in some advice cards for the month of July 2021 for Cancer's Highest Good Spirit. Thank you very much. Okay, keep doing what you're doing, child. If it's working, keep doing what you're doing. Don't let the one make you feel guilty or whatnot. What are they trying to do? F them. Ignore them. Sensing like guilt tripping. People try to guilt trip you. Okay. <laughs> okay. A lot came out. Be bold and make the first move. Um. So, okay, so some of you guys, um, the person that you choose to be with, that endeavor that you want to start be bold you can do it believe in yourself okay a win-win outcome is forecast a win-win outcome is forecast hmm. you're winning no matter what and I think that's why people are so bitter at you uh, and they, it's like they see you and they're like, wow, like she's actually well deserving of what she has. And I think that's what makes it more worse for them. Because there's some people in this world who really don't deserve what they have. But you, you deserve it. And they know you do. So what really could they say about it, you know? Hey, the energy is gaining momentum. Yeah. You know there's good things coming to you guys. If not, please know that. Please please claim it. Please claim to, to the universe. Like, speak it into existence that good things are coming your way. Okay? Because you're good enough. All right? Yeah. Someone to, to the divine. Also, let your guys help you on your endeavors. All right? Yeah, let, let your um, spiritual team help you as well, okay? Or you 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 will say that God has helped you or your ancestors or spiritual team has helped you, okay? Some of you guys are well aware that it wasn't you alone that has gotten you this far. <laughs> Some of you guys might be interested in meditation or yoga or tai chi. But yeah, I like you guys are dropping things that long, that long, wow, 
<laughs> Some of you guys are dropping things that no longer serve you, or it is advised that you, you need to stop dropping things that no longer serve you so you can receive so much better, okay? And when you start to, to receive so much better, don't be surprised that there's better people around you trying to guilt trying to guilt trip you for what you have. Don't let them do it. You deserve it. If God did not think you deserve, or Spirit did not think you deserve things that you have, Spirit would not have given to you. Have not. You know what I'm saying? Like if Spirit, God, Allah, thought you did not deserve what you have, they would have taken away a long time ago and never given it to you at all, okay? So don't let nobody pick, play God and look, at, look you in the eye and tell you what you deserve, what you don't deserve, okay? Period. I'm also going to pull some sweet messages, okay? Or some nice um, affirmations here. Some of you guys are feeling like you're the life of the party in July. Yeah. Oop. Okay. Oh wow, yeah. Someone someone's mad at bitter men. Just watch what what came out. It kills me when other people look at you. I wonder if you want them to. Yeah, someone knows they're about to be dropped. And they don't like it. Yeah, they're about to be dropped because you find someone that you really love being around with. This person make you feel good or you make this person that you want feel so good, guys. Okay? And you, you're... An, you have so much power, okay? You're sexy, okay? A lot of people think you're really sexy. And you have a lot of people that will actually want to take you in the bedroom, okay? Uh, you really sexually, sexually arouse a lot of people, okay? Um, I'm going to end that here. Okay, and I hope you like the reading. Please remember to like, share, and sus please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And comment below what you th comment below what you think about this reading. And I see you guys next month. Bye.